dear student welcome to the lecture series of uh, material science and physics today we are basically covering one of the most important topic it's the core of the microelectronics and nanoelectronic industry and even the single crystal um, industry that technique is known as molecular beam epitaxy molecular beam epitaxy is known as the herd of the miniaturized microelectronics and nanoelectronics industry because with this technique we can basically get highly pure precise well textured and oriented single crystalline thin films dear student molecular beam epitaxy is a kind of physical vapor deposition so MBE is a type of physical vapor deposition process. Yes, student, what do you think what physical vapor deposition process mean? Physical vapor deposition is a process in which no chemical reaction take place. As I previously discussed different types of physical uh, vapor deposition techniques like electron beam evaporation and thermal evaporation. Please note that in all those chemical uh, processings, the evaporated precursor material is basically transported onto the substrate surface without any reaction with the substrate and even without any reaction inside the chamber of reactors. So dear student, please note that the molecular beam epitaxy is a kind of physical vapor deposition which involves no chemical reaction the material which we want uh, to fabricate or which we want to deposit with molecular beam epitaxy is highly pure and it is a parent material parent material means that it's it's the same material which is a pre at precursor so the precursor is basically in molecular beam epitaxy is evaporated and it is transported as it is onto the substrate surface and on the substrate surface basically the 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 evaporated um, um, material or evaporated precursor basically get deposited and it's tra is transformed into a thin fin so in simple word molecular beam epitaxy is a type of physical vapor deposition and it does not or it don't involve any type of chemical reaction inside the reaction chamber and even on the surface of the substrate. This student, please note that the molecular beam epitaxy is basically performed under the ultra high vacuum because since you know that in molecular beam epitaxy we basically deposit in the thin film in a very controlled fashion at micro at molecular level in order to deposit thin film at molecular level we need ultra high vacuum okay what do you think what could be the advantage of ultra high vacuum this student please note that if the ultra high vacuum is created inside the reaction chamber of any kind of deposition device the precursor material basically can easily transport it onto the substrate surface without any interaction with the uh, walls of the reaction chamber and even inside the uh, different areas of the reaction chamber because the mean free path for the precursor material uh, which is evaporated become too long and they can easily transport it onto the surface of substrate without any other impurity interactions. So molecular beam epitaxy, the advantage for molecular beam epitaxy is that it is performed at ultra high vacuum. So ultra high vacuum is the heart of molecular beam epitaxy and due to this ultra high vacuum, the deposition is performed on the surface of the substrate at molecular level at layer by layer level in a very controlled and precise fashion please note that the pressure of the ultra high vacuum created inside the molecular epitaxy reaction chamber 
is around 10 raise to power minus 8 to 10 raise to power minus 10 tor. This pressure is too much. This vacuum, uh, this vacuum is too much and it is quite difficult for different types of uh, pumps available such as turbo pump, uh, turbo pump, diffusion pump, rotary pump or uh, cryo pump to create such ultra high vacuum. So they are basically used in a combination in molecular beam epitaxy to create uh, such ultra high vacuum. This student please note that every pump has its own limitation we will discuss in next few slide the next few slide about the potential applications of those pump in molecular pump taxi and why they are used in combination in order to create such ultra high vacuum in molecular pump taxi so molecular pump taxi is performed in ultra high vacuum and the vacuum uh, is somewhere around 10 to power minus add to 10 to power minus 10 tor Substrate used in molecular beam epitaxy basically act like a seed. So what do you think what the term seed means? Seed is basically represent the orientation or direction in which we have to grow the film. Okay. The seed is basically a prototype which is followed by the deposited thin film so dear student the substrate somewhere around here in the device act like a seed and the substrate in molecular beam epitaxy is very important we have to consider or usually in microelectronics industry they consider the purity of the seed the orientation of the seed and also the direction in which the seed is oriented so basically the desired material which we want to deposit follow the direction and orientation of the seed so we can basically prepare the desired material according to the direction and orientation of seed with molecular beam taxi so the seed play a vital role in order to deposit single crystalline thin film in molecular beam epitaxy. Now coming toward potential application of molecular beam epitaxy. Dear student, please note that molecular beam epitaxy is very wide and diverse physical vapor deposition technique. Almost all available devices at very local and miniaturized scale can is be easily prepared and fabricated with molecular beam epitaxy. Please note that the good thing about molecular uh, beam epitaxy is that we can deposit ultra thin film. As you know that the microelectronics is basically industry is, is basically following the Moore's law and the size of the devices are basically decreasing day by day. So the devices are basically approaching toward the ultra thin film, uh, ultra thin devices. So in order to prepare ultra thin devices, molecular beam epitaxy is basically playing vital role because you know that microelectronics industry require highly pure material and at ultra uh, molecular scale the only available technique is molecular beam epitaxy at which we can prepare highly pure uh, highly pure ultra uh, thin film devices one of the common device prepared by molecular beam epitaxy is pn junction or diode Dear student, please note that I will briefly explain in next part of the lecture that how we can basically prepare diode or different types of devices using molecular beam protection. Just for your information or make it uh, easy for you, please note that in molecular beam protection, basically initially we deposit a layer of the uh, layer of the any kind of uh, material 
uh, of the diode and then we have we, uh, we incorporate different types of P and N dopant in that material both the dopant uh, or P or N type of dopant are also present inside the reaction chamber of MB and kindly note that usually they are placed inside the effusion cells okay so with uh, in the effusion cell the P and N type of materials are basically um, uh, evaporated uh, either by thermal uh, heating or by electron beam operation and uh, and at the same time the precursor material is also present which is basically um, uh, evaporated by electron beam operation so be both the p and n type of material and the precursor material at the same time are basically transported uh, without any chemical reaction onto the surface of the substrate and in this way the microelectronic industrialist basically prepared the PN junctions or diodes. Dear student, since I have uh, told before that the, uh, the molecular beam epitaxy is very diverse technique, so we can basically prepare a PNP or NPN transistor with the molecular beam epitaxy. With molecular beam epitaxy, we can also prepare ferro, uh, we can also prepare field effect transistors, and they are that is also essential component of the microelectronic industry. We molecular beam epitaxy we can prepare mosfets basically mosfet is a metal oxide field effect transistor it is a very co complicated kind of device and we can basically prepare this device with molecular beam epitaxy so in general just student please note that the molecular beam epitaxy is not limited to all those applications which i have told in this lecture this technique is very diverse and there is no limitation for this technique it is uh, used everywhere in, in especially in type of fabrication of memory devices uh, like in plan and out of out of plan memories even it's used in a, it is also used in a capacitors or uh, solar cells cds data recording devices etc so this technique is very diverse dear student in next technique uh, in next uh, part of this lecture i will discuss about different kind of processing uh, steps which are which are usually involved in molecular beam epitaxy. So thank you for watching this lecture.